Appalachian Wireless is Appalachian Advantage. Unlimited text, talk, and 2 gigs of data for as low as $45 a month. Or if you like, get 5 lines on 8 gigs of data for just $145 a month. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The case against a Pike County man facing 100 counts of animal cruelty has been postponed until February, leaving nearly 90 animals with an uncertain future. In June, Pike County deputies seized a total of 100 animals, four of them being deceased from Randall Goods' residence on Grapevine Road at Phyllis. Dead birds, the carcasses, they found dead cats, uh, they found a few dead chickens, and then uh, after, the show, after they got done, they seized all the animals. A pretrial conference for Good, who pleaded guilty to a separate animal cruelty case in 2012, was scheduled for Monday, but was continued until February, allowing both sides more time to review the evidence in the case, a case that Good's attorney, Larry Webster, says should have never been pursued against his client. If we get a fair, objective prosecutor to look at the evidence in this case, irrefutable hospital records that Randall Good was not present and had not been present, this case should be dismissed. Webster says two men that Good had hired to take care of the animals while he was ill had obviously not done their job, but his client was innocent. But in the meantime, nearly 20 cats remain at the animal shelter, unable to be adopted until there's a resolution in the case or Randall Good makes a decision that would allow the animals to be adopted. He can still sign over the animals where we can get them a home. And uh, that will help us out tremendously. Even though the court date's till February, he can still sign them over to us, and then we can find them home. If you really cared about the animals, he would do that. The next court appearance for Randall Good will be a pretrial conference in February of 2018. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.